Hi, Techno Evangelist here. And the last video I posted was a couple of months ago about the RAV Power line of products. Um, what's been going on? Why haven't I posted another video in two months? Well, I've been doing a lot of speaking. Uh, I'm getting ready for our next big event, which is AWS reInvent. I had my high school reunion last week uh, down in Miami and just, just been a lot of stuff going on. But that last video about the RAV Power File Hub, uh, which should be linked above, has really been blowing up recently, at least for me, relatively blowing up. I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of questions. In fact, uh, Gold Lighten was asking about using the UI and can I copy files, can I create directories, and can I do all that from a phone or a tablet? So I decided to make a short video just about using the UI, creating files, copying files. And uh, there was another question that came up on a previous, on the previous version of the File Hub video where it was asking, well, what, how come I'm not seeing any of those videos or music files or photos showing up? And so I've got a fix for that. If you like videos like this, consider hitting that subscribe button below. And if you have any experience with the device, then share them in the comment section as well. So let's switch over to using the iOS app. From the screenshots in the manual, it looks like the iOS app and the Android apps are pretty close to each other in look and feel but I don't have an Android device, so I can't really verify that. Now, first I have opened up the File Hub Plus app. I'll click on File Folder to explore the attached disks. I can see that the SD card is inserted as well as a two terabyte SanDisk Extreme SSD. Now I can navigate into the SD card and see the files and folders on the card. I can also go back to the home and click on videos to see all the videos on the card. I can even click on some of the movies to watch them. Now this is not relying on any codecs that may exist on the phone, but rather streaming from the device. But as you can see, not all video files are supported and some may not play and others won't even appear in the list. If I switch to the photos section, I can see the photos on the card. In music, I see any music files and in documents, I see files like PDFs. And here's an Excel file and more. Now, if you try this yourself and you see something like this when you go to the videos, it's probably because DLNA is either not enabled or pointing to the wrong directory. You can still see the files located on your phone, but anything on the SD card or drive are hidden when you click on the video, music, photo, or documents sections. To configure this, you have to use the web page for the device and not the apps. This is weird and took me a long time to find. So here I am on my Mac in the web page. Now you'll get the same experience on a phone or tablet when visiting the web page, but it's just easier to record on the Mac. So go to Home and then click on Settings. Now go to Services and then DLNA Service. Turn it on and select the appropriate folder. If you want to select the whole card or drive, then just click on the name of it. Then click on Save. Now when I click on any of these sections, everything shows up like it should. And of course, I can always choose to explore through the files and folders, even in the web UI. So now let's switch over to the newer File Hub app on my phone. Clicking on the video, there's the same experience as on the older File Hub Plus app, but you get a new UI. In File Management, I can navigate through the folders, select files, copy or move them to another directory on the external storage devices, or even to the phone. I can even create directories if I choose to do so. And that's how you use the UI to work with files on external drives and SD cards from your phone or tablet or even your computer when using one of the RAV Power File Hub devices. As you can see, it's pretty easy to work with. Now, if you find this video interesting, uh, be sure to subscribe to it over there and click on some of these things to watch more videos. Thanks so much for watching and uh, goodbye.